Hello everyone, good day, good morning, or good midday everyone. I just wanted to tell you hello and happy 2023. It's been a while since I made my last video. I think it's been more than a month now, maybe even longer. And I just wanted to tell you what is up with me. Uh, but before I will tell you what I'm drawing right now, as you can see, I'm just uh, moving in pictures uh, of Aki. Aki is a character from Chainsaw Man, I would say one of the main characters, one of the three or four, depends on how you, who you ask, I think. Uh, I already made a Denchi piece and I was like, let me draw one of Aki as well. You have another character called Pow Power, I have not drawn her yet, um, but this was pretty fun. I've been using a pixel brush and I will link it down below which one I've used. And this one has been made in last year, so 2022. And now yeah, I'm just drawing a sketch. I've been really into a more anime-like drawing. And this was just very fun to do. Uh, if you're wondering wh what those floaty, uh, floaty emotes are. <laughs> those are basically from when I'm streaming. So you see them floating. And that's just because I made this live. Um, I did cut myself out of the video. Because I'm not really into my face being super fast. While drawing this or the chat being in the screen. Maybe in the future it will be there, but uh, for now it's not there. Uh, but I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my goals for this year. I saw a bunch of videos, a bunch of artists talking about, hey, what, what are you going to do this year? What do you want to improve? Um, and there are a few things I want to improve. I'm currently in my last year of my study. Uh, actually, it's the last half year now, so <laughs> it's almost done and I'm very scared about it. Uh, after that, I finished a big study. I did one study before this one, and now I'm doing a teaching study. And I've also been working as a teacher. So that's been uh, very fun. <laughs> the, um, the kids that I teach have been very kind to me. And uh, I really like that. I hope I can stay at the place that I'm working now. Uh, my internship is actually longer. I was originally um, being there till the end of January, but now I can stay there till April. So I'm doing a little bit more. I'm doing my thesis, I believe you call it there. And it's just been very fun, very fun. Uh, but if we're gonna go back to the goals for this year, I wanna finish my degree. I want to be done with, uh, <laughs> uh, with following school and just teaching. Yes, um, I wanna continue with streaming. So if I have the time, I want to stream once a week. And what I also want to do is create YouTube videos. Um, I kind of failed already because I wanted to try and make two videos each month. Um, you can see it's already February or when I made this, it's already February. Uh, but that's no problem. I'm just going to try and create two videos each month from now. And I think that will be okay. Hmm... If we continue uh, looking for this year, I want to really take the time to do some self-improvement. I've been struggling with mental health and stuff. And it's really been taking a toll on me. Nothing too bad just yet, but maybe that's why I didn't stream or why I didn't uh, make videos. Uh, just struggling a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, what I want to do is I want to read more books or at, le at least uh, more self-help thingies. Uh, and also try to grow my self-discipline. Because I'm really struggling with holding myself accountable. <laughs> and that's, that's okay, that's life. And I also see these videos um, as a little something that I can look back upon. So I can see what my thought process was or what I was thinking about. Or just thinking about life, I guess. <laughs> um, I will not go into much of details, just so you know that uh, sometimes it will go really not well. And then after that, it will kind of get better. <laughs> and I'm really trying to not always stay positive, but also know that I'm going the right way, you know, I'm learning, I'm seeing myself in a different light and I'm using that to improve myself. 
but back to the goals <laughs> because otherwise i will talk about this more and more maybe i need to make like a almost a podcast <laughs> to call it like a brain dump but that's that's not for today or at least this is what i wanted to say for now if we're gonna go back to the drawing you see me drawing with the pixel brush um i'm working in grayscale first that's what you see here um i also decided to give him like two different eyes doesn't really happen in the story he doesn't like get a lighter eye and a darker eye or at least that's what i think i i read this manga in like one go one evening <laughs> i was really into it but no his eyes doesn't change but i thought it would be really cool because in the story there it something does happen with his eyes or at least with his sight or at least uh something regarding the future and i thought it would be very cool to show that in the eyes so that's what i did uh, I also gave it a special name, and I do not know if I remember the name. I do not remember the name, but the, the, uh, probably this video or it was <laughs> I feel really bad now. Oh, I'm gonna search it up while we, we continue talking. We can just do that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to read more books, and that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, and I will just continue doing that. Uh, the book that I really want to start is working... Um, let me let me read it <laughs> correctly uh drawing with the right side of the brain uh that is a book basically about observing how you can draw portraits and how you can see better basically um oh i found the name i i, I called this piece untold future and if you ever seen this story or if you ever read it or seen the anime Maybe you know why I call it Untold Future. <laughs> For, if not, I won't spoil anything, so don't worry. Uh, but yeah, the, the book Drawing with the Right Side of the Brain has been interesting. I saw it on YouTube and someone recommended it to me. Uh, I'll link it down below which video it was. And basically I want to really start doing that. Challenge myself uh, working with it. Oh, now I was uh, working with like a <laughs> a smudge brush but it was not doing the effect that i wanted so i tried a bunch did i like it no not really i thought it would give a cool effect but um didn't really add what i <laughs> wanted it to to do uh, i still added it in here um you don't really see me edit the progress much i just basically stuck with my sketch and painted on top of it do i always draw like this no no it was the changes but i still really like it when i look back at it it is um i especially like the eyes and how i added the colors later on but it was more of a, a sketch yeah that i made into something else i believe this took like an hour and a half or something you'll see the full time in the comments comments um what i want to do more this year is uh yeah finishing school i said that already kind of challenge myself more with art i'm really good with drawing portraits or i do that a lot uh oh flashing lights okay so, uh after this part there will be more flashing lights so yeah be careful be careful there you can see i, I started adding color <laughs> oh i lost my train of thoughts uh no no worries what i want to do uh learn that drawing book drawing with the right side of the brain uh, uploading, at l uh, trying to do at least two videos a month, so one every two weeks. Uh, maybe I will make a backlog or something. Um, I also want to try and create different things like backgrounds, different materials, uh, not only work digitally, not only traditionally, but also with different media or combining media. For my final work, I want to create a game. So that's what I'm going to do and try uh, and also try and work on myself and also my self-discipline. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what I wanted to say. Um, I see that we are slowly going to the end. So I want to say I hope you have a very calm beginning of your uh, new year. I hope this year can give you challenge, but also keep you comfortable and warm. Uh, that you feel the kindness around you and also be kind for yourself. And do not forget that you are not alone. Um, at the end here, I used a... Uh, a watercolor piece and I just mix and match with the colors to add it on top um, and after this you'll just see uh, how the finished piece looks but this is almost the end so it's all fine <laughs> I hope you like my rambles please let me know if you want to see more of this and if not 
That's also fine, but I'll probably keep on doing this anyway. <laughs> uh, here's the sketch or the, the base. Um, then what you see here is the, the colors, the first sketches you can see with different brushes. Then I added the first colors, I tweaked it a little bit. And then we got to the finished result and that's this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. That was very fast. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Okay, hey. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.